Willie Treader, aged 18. Occupation, unemployed. Some say he is unemployable. He is at the moment on probation. Sometimes like, I, I think um, I, I'd like to be like someone important, you know, like respected and that, like um, Albert Schweitzer or uh, Screaming Lord Such or something. I don't know what to do. But um, most of the time, I think I'd rather hang about. <laughs> this is the street where Willie lives with his parents. Significantly, perhaps, Willie's room is in the basement. Um, think sort of get married, you know. And then, um, well, I've got this girl, you know. Uh, I've got her a ring, you know. It's, it's lovely, like, you know, it's all like gold plated and it's um, got a place to put a stone and everything. And, um, like, it's the accommodation, isn't it, you know? I mean, like, she couldn't, like, live here because there's no room and um, we couldn't, like, go and live with her parents because um, they're living with theirs. <laughs> and then, like, I'm, I'm on the probation. How did it all start? Where did Willie go wrong? As I was saying, she lives out here, Venezuela, and of course, the Brazil, a little more over there. But not far off, and well done. I think, thank God, off you go. Yes, Willie Treasure, yes. Well, he wasn't the sort of child who really could, could go fond of, you know. He knew far too many vulgar songs, for one thing. Some of them were quite disgraceful. Where he got hold of them, I'll, I'll never know. You mean he actually sang them in your presence? No, he whistled them. <laughs> and another thing, he, he kept taking them. He didn't belong to him. He was always doing this. And then one day, I, I realized why he did this. He was a thief. <laughs> I thought he might have grown out of it, but I do believe the youth club leader had the same trouble. No, no, I disagree entirely. <laughs> I think that society must take its own share of the blame. I, do, I think the whole moral structure of this country today is far too laxative. <laughs> Along the side of the escalator at London's Piccadilly Circus Underground, there are no fewer than 17 different illustrated advertisements for ladies' corsets and lingerie. 17? 17, yes, I counted. <laughs> and pictures like that could turn a young man's head. But surely the escalator travels so quickly that one only sees these pictures for a second or two. Uh, I disagree entirely, I disagree. If you go down the one that's coming up, or up the one that's going down, you can look at these disgraceful advertisements for quite a long time. Mind you, it makes you unpopular with the other passengers, but it can be done. Are you sure? I've done it several times. I've heard of it being done several times. Honestly, I think parents today should keep a tighter rein on their children. I do really. But, um, but since he's joined the probation, I mean, like, no one would come to this Christmas party, nor nothing. I mean, it's, um, like, it's only that the vicar and the doctor come here now. So it's just like, like we, we was cut off. As you go, Jake. Do what, Brian? As the vicar go, Jake. Yes, he's gone, dear, and it wasn't the vicar. The doctor. I thought he was a bit familiar for the vicar. <laughs> um, up the probation, the psychiatrist up there said he couldn't help it, see. He, uh, like a psychopath. <laughs> it, it's these old ladies. Um, because he hates his father, you see. That's why he does it. Because he hates his father. But why doesn't he hit his father? His father kill him. <laughs> No, I think it's up to the probation. Willie Treader came under your care on June the 17th, didn't he? No. It was July the 15th. I remember it quite well, because that was the day I was asked to join the local council. We need people like you, said the Lady Mayoress. People who really care about the youth of this town. What sort of a person is he? Who? Willie <laughs> Treader. Right. But I myself, I turned to the Lady Mayoress and I said, of course I care about the youth of this town. 
I said, I was a juvenile delinquent myself once, but I stopped it. How, said she? I grew up, said I. <laughs> and this, the Lady Maris, who's rather on the plump side, fairly shook with laughter. Well, they must be quite a handful. <laughs> Always are. He's not a jubilant delinquent. <laughs> Just not a high spirited, that's all. His foreman thought differently. I want work at there, not picnics, you know. He, he comes in here wearing that dirty t shirt and them open neck trousers. <laughs> when you get there, he doesn't do any work. He's bent up, he's coming. <laughs> you want to be in there all day? I mean, it's not a dear thing. Reading the racing result. Of all the 97 jobs Willie has had since he left school, none has lasted more than a few days. about that television of it. He watches everything that's on. Well, he doesn't he, um, on a television? Because, I mean, like, um, if, say, like you're, you're watching um, something like, 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 like The Saint, or, or No Hiding Place, or um, or Panorama, I mean, you know it's not real, don't you? I mean, you know it's only, like, made up, isn't it? It's all made up, you know what I mean? It's not the harm it does now, it's what it can lead to. I mean, what harm it does now, it's what it can lead to. Not who, what, Mary Anna. You know what I mean, Reavers. I mean, he, he, he lights one up just for kicks, and the next thing you know, he's a smoked addict. Smoke addict. And then no one can help him. Here then is Willie Treader, a lonely, misunderstood young man, perhaps more to be pitied than blamed. Let us not condemn his displays of youthful high spirits, for that is what they are. Simply youthful, high spirits. Perhaps it would be well if, at this Christmas time, we showed people like Willie a little more understanding, a little more tolerance, a little more... Hey, that's my car. You little thief. Police! Police! Come back here, Willie!